do what I can. Don't take this the wrong way, Hans, but we're not exactly rooting for you. You charmed your way into Anna's heart and left it to freeze when she needed you the most. And if that wasn't bad enough, you went after Elsa and tried to take over Arendelle. Now that's just cold. So what's this we hear about you popping up in Frozen 2? Last we heard, you were shoveling manure on the Southern Isles where you belong. You better not be planning your revenge, Hans. We're officially on to you. Hans is a villain if we've ever seen one, but there's a strong chance that he will redeem himself in Frozen 2. Keep watching to find out how Hans will go from villain to hero. She left me in charge, and I will not hesitate to protect Arendelle from treason. Just when we thought that Anna was done with Hans for good, he comes creeping back into her life in the most surprising way. No one expected Hans to be in Frozen 2. After all, he was thrown into a jail cell and shipped back to the Southern Isles at the end of Frozen. So why is he slated to make a comeback in Frozen 2? We were sure he'd never show his face again after Anna gave him a knuckle sandwich. But we were wrong. Hans is officially listed as a character in the sequel, and Hans' voice actor Santina Fantano is reprising his role. Oddly enough, Hans wasn't present in any of the Frozen 2 trailers, and he didn't make an appearance at the D23 Expo. However, actor Jonathan Groff, who voices Kristoff, tags Santino in a cast picture on Instagram. Disney might be trying to keep Hans' involvement a secret, but it looks like the cat is out of the bag, and believe it or not, but some fans swear that Hans does make an appearance in the trailer. But more on that later. For now, let's find out what Hans has been up to ever since Anna beat him at his own game. Six years may have passed since we first met Elsa and Anna. What is that amazing smell? Chocolate. But according to Disney, Frozen 2 is set three years after the first movie. In Frozen Fever, we find out that Hans has been keeping busy by shoveling manure on the Southern Isles. So it's safe to assume that Hans has had plenty of time to think about what he's done. But his thinking process can go one of two ways. Hans could have been planning his revenge ever since we last saw him. Or he could have used this time to think about the awful crimes he committed. And maybe, just maybe, Hans is feeling guilt and regret. There's no way of knowing if Hans will be a good guy or a bad guy, and do to make us think he's changed. If Hans tries to betray the Queen and Princess of Arendelle once again, shoveling manure will be the least of his worries. But if he tries to help Elsa and Anna, they might pardon him once and for all. So now that we know what Hans has to lose and to gain, let's find out how he fits into the plot of Frozen 2. But you, Hans. you are so desperate for love, you are willing to marry me just like that. Hans was nowhere to be seen in the trailers, but that that doesn't mean that he wasn't there. In the first trailer, we see Anna, Kristoff, and Elsa walking through the enchanted lands. All of a sudden, Anna turns around, grabs Kristoff's sword, and swings it with all her might. So what if Anna heard a sound, turned around, and saw Hans walking behind them? Since Anna wouldn't hurt a fly unless that fly's name was Hans, we think it's pretty likely that Anna is swinging at her ex-fiance. But what on earth is Hans doing in the enchanted lands? We have a few theories. It's possible that Hans ran away from home. He was tired of being on stable duty and can't say we really blame him. Hans might cross paths with our heroes while attempting to flee. But since the enchanted lands are creepy and unpredictable, Hans might decide that there's strength in numbers. Do you guys think that Elsa, Anna, and Kristoff would let Hans tag along? Or would they send him packing? Another option is that Hans is on a path of redemption. Please. Don't you see? I can't. He might have heard that Elsa and Anna are journeying north to save Arendelle from a possible threat, and he might have realized that helping them is the only way to redeem himself. If Hans sacrifices himself to save Elsa or Anna, the sisters would find a way to forgive him. But whether or not he's got redemption on the brain remains to be seen. Some fans think that Hans will be up to no good in Frozen 2, and honestly, we wouldn't put it past him. Now that Elsa and Anna are far away from home, it would be the perfect time for Hans to try and take over Arendelle. But honestly, Hans, we'd like to see you try. you just be keeping Elsa's throne warm until she gets home. Hans was the villain of Frozen, but he just might be the hero of Frozen 2. Fans have been asking about Elsa's love interest, and whether or not she'll find love come the sequel. There have been rumors about Elsa falling in love with a girl or someone like Jack Frost, but according to some other super fans, Elsa is destined to wind up with Hans. There's a theory that Hans will steal Elsa's heart at the end of the sequel and become the king of Arendelle. What do you guys think? Will Hans become a hero and fall in love with Elsa, or will he prove everyone right and remain a Disney villain? Sound off in the comments. 
Give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited for Frozen 2. And don't forget to subscribe to The Things. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.